Oh. Oh. Butt squeeze. Butt squeeze. <laughs> Love you. Am I we in church or something? God damn, <laughs> it's so quiet in here. I'm excited that you guys are here. I'm super happy and I can't wait to start sharing everything with you guys because at the end of this, at the end of this seminar, what I want you guys to be able to do is go back home and start doing some crazy cover-ups, you know what I mean? And the most important thing in to, when it comes down to cover-ups is put it to practice. If you go back home and you're like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna wait like another month to kind of execute another cover-up, you know? Nah, you gotta go at it. Practice, practice, practice. Book those people as much as you can. A small cover, as big cover, doesn't matter. Just put it to practice. Put those techniques to practice. Because if you wait three weeks, this information is gonna go away. Back then, it was very limited to learn from, you know? Looked at YouTube videos, I tried looking at everything, tried to look at seminars. Nobody was talking about cover-ups. And and, what I ended up doing was, you know what, I'm just gonna dedicate myself to put myself in situations to learn these things because I don't think nobody's ever gonna teach me. And I knew I wanted to specialize in cover-ups even though it was the one thing I hated the most. In every state, there is 70% uh, like okay artists, you know, and those 30% are killing it. But then those 70% are producing tattoos that you can potentially cover up in the future, you know? which the market just opens up like crazy. I always say that there's no way I can steal your clients, there's no way you can steal my clients. My first layer is gonna be solid black, right? This is gonna be my first layer. My second layer is gonna be my medium gray. And on top of all this texture that I just did, I'm gonna go back and do my grays and, try cr and start creating this glare that I have here. Uh, reinforce that confidence in that client, you know? It's all about that service. It's all about that service. So you gotta make sure that that client trusts you from the beginning, they talk to you. From the beginning they walk in through that door, they trust you. Do you, uh, when, they're, when you're proposing what to cover it up, when they tell you what they want, you try to make their idea work or do you tell them what you're gonna make work? A lot of my clients, they don't come in with references, they just come with an idea. And they're like, okay, this is my idea. And I'm like, oh, that's tight. So then after that, I start talking to them. What do you like about it? What do you like about this specific idea? And I say, do you have other ideas just in case this doesn't work? And they start thinking, I'm like, I don't know. And sometimes my clients, their second idea or their third is the best. So they do come with ideas, but sometimes it's kind of like, they just allow me to do whatever I want. But I do, I do, what I like doing is connecting it to the client because at the end of the day, they're gonna be carrying this and I wanna make sure that they can tell that story. How confident did you feel when you went into covering up that debt? <laughs> He's like, yo, if you can tell me that you can cover this up, I'll come back within two months. And I was like, what is it? And he's like, Whoa. I was like, oh shit. I was like, yo, this is solid black. So after like 25 minutes of me just feeling it, I was 80%. I was like, I can do this because nobody's going to touch this ever. I'm the only one right now. I was nervous, but I was confident. We had our breakfast. And I started throwing ideas. He said, I want, I was like, I want something graffiti related. We went through so many concepts. Finally, I don't know how I, I came across uh, this, the gas mask. And, I, and then he said, I like that. And when I placed it, I was like, man, I don't know. This looks, this doesn't look very promising. We had a three hour consultation at the restaurant. We kept going back and forth. And finally I was like, um, you know what? I like the gas mask. As soon as I, I laid my black on that, on top of one of the letters, I said, ah, yeah, that's it. I feel so much better, I can do this. But I was confident, but I was hella nervous. The day before, I was like, oh my God, if I can't cover it up, this guy's gonna have a black stomach. <laughs> but it's, it was scary, bro. But he actually came on the last seminar because he was, he was uh, here watching a UFC fight. And he actually showed up and uh, he showed everybody. And it looks insane after like, it's been like a year or something, year and a half. The way Kevin isn't afraid to share his information, um, he's a very open person, very open-minded, and likes to share his information uh, to make sure that artists become better artists. I was super excited, you know, seeing uh, Kevin just displayed on the screen, kind of walking us through at any time we could ask questions. The whole vibe 
Yeah, he's a, he's a very good teacher. He knows how to explain things thoroughly. See how like it's like so smooth. Like you go from dark to light in a matter of seconds. You're just kind of you're kind of like, okay, damn. Especially for a face. Let's just say you're using that tone like for the cheekbone. And then you need to go from gray to light gray to white back to gray. I would even say do bigger circles. That way you can kind of see the tone a little bit better. So start with your lightest. Okay, that's good. Now, and what do you want to get? Uh, medium. Medium. Yeah. Do two uh, dips on that black, on, that, on your solid black. Solid? Uh-huh. Which one do you like better? For the medium, mm -hmm. I'll take this one. Okay, so now do the 15 counts and one drop. Nah, and there's the tone you got. I'll and then now after that. Consistent is just one drop. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's see what that gives you. Is that the tone you wanted? So now to stay consistent, you stay with the what right here, this one, two, two dips. Dun, dun. And you stay consistent. Do as many as you can and you'll see that it doesn't, it doesn't change. Because that, that's gonna stay consistent because you're doing the same count. So out of those three tones, which one do you like better? This one right here. That one? All right. Dun, dun, dun. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And it stays. And it doesn't make it any lighter. It's just reloading, reloading. So it's all about like playing with it. Now that you see the system between these two, now you can play around with all of them and see how, you know, it's, it's gonna start mixing slowly and you're gonna be like, oh, okay. Now in between those, can you give me a, a super light gray? Yeah, I would say test it out first, like see what happens. Okay, give me lighter than that. And I would even say you can dip it around too because that gray is like on the surface, so it's, it's picking up that. See that? Oh, you got it down now. There you go. Now you got it down. Now, now you got it down. Yes. Just in case something that doesn't work out, practice it. Because it's going to help you a lot tomorrow to make those decisions in case of something was to go wrong. What is your favorite part about the seminar experience? Just watching them do it. Watching them do it. Watch the guy, Mr. Reyes, do it. Because I, to be honest, I, I would see it on a video see it on pictures and stuff like that and just to be able to see it in person it is the truth it's really it really is the truth i was i was blown away definitely excited to see him actually do a cover-up the whole process i've been watching his videos on youtube a lot so i just wanted to see it in person and ask a bunch of questions about his technique i loved everything especially now i'm seeing everything in person Definitely the scribble te technique for textures and the way that um, he mixes his ink is insane. Um, my favorite part was very hands on. I've been to like two seminars, and you know, this is the first one we actually get to tattoo the same design uh, on fake skin and seeing the client get it done. Just to think outside the box compared to like, oh, you know, put white or whatever, like, you know, other students were saying. So it just makes sense for him to be like, you know what, change the light source or whatever the case is. Well, definitely the uh, true gray method that he used and also uh, his dipping method. That was very unique and I could tell that he uh, tried it for a long period of time and it was a lot of trial and error, you know. And so it was nice that he went through all that. Now you just go, hey, here it is, five minutes. His true gray methods and then as well as his like scribble technique. His scribble technique is, is crazy. When you hear scribble, you're just like oh, all over the place. Now nah, it's like he has a certain technique that he does that if you implement it inside your tattooing, as I'm doing right now on that fake skin, man, it's just crazy. Definitely the scribble technique. I gotta practice that and get it down. The minute I walked into the studio, um, you could just sense uh, Kevin's energy. 
Uh, he came in, he was happy, he was smiling, dancing the whole entire time. I, I feel like every artist in this shop has the same, you know, vibe. Um, you know, the music's pumping, you know, he's getting it on, you know what I'm saying? Just how helpful uh, Reyes has been. I mean, he's just got the best attitude and it just, because I'm naturally a shy person and he's just, makes you feel comfortable, you know, to be able to ask him questions. I absolutely recommend this this seminar for every single artist. Just a five star rating. His vibe, very genuine, authentic, just a straight down to earth person. I'm just, I feel blessed to be able to be here and uh, I'm definitely taking a lot of knowledge home with me that I can use every day. Vibe, off, off the chain, he's crazy, he's wild just how he is on videos, same way he is in person, cool guy. Um, for teaching, man, he does not move to another subject unless you know what, what he's teaching you until you fully understand it. And that's really good because for myself coming in here, I was like in two days, how am I supposed to learn this in two days, man? But he does not let go. He's, he'll sit there, you need to do this or do you need help with this? And he'll be on your ass and plus vibes is cool.